Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is how to clone your Mac ID or why you would even want to do that. So first of all, let's hop over to my UDM Pro and we're going to go over to settings and internet. We're going to go to primary uh, WAN1 and... Once we're in here, we're going to have this option for MAC address clone, and we can enable it, and then we can put the MAC address in here. If we hover over the tooltip, it says copies the MAC address of an ISP-locked device to your UniFi gateway to enable Internet connectivity. So back in the day, it used to be really commonplace for your ISP to lock your Internet to the MAC address of your router, right? So you'd have to call in give them the MAC address of your router off the device, they would punch it in, program it in, and then boom, you'd have internet. Uh, some ISPs still do that. Some ISPs will use the MAC address for static IPs um, and, and still accounting and things like that. So it's, it's not unheard of. It is still common enough that almost every router will support this. So... What you need to know is you need to know the device. If it is a device that is locked to your ISP, you need to know the MAC address. And you can get that off the old interface. You can get it to uh, get it off the, the bottom of the device or in the device itself. And what you would do is you would click enable and then you would type the MAC address in here. I don't know if it's going to let me. I may really, uh, may really mess things up here. But what you would do is you would put it in there and hit apply changes. Oh, won't let me do the unicast. But if I had a valid Mac, which I do, hold please. So I just copied and pasted this Grandstream Mac. This is actually the Mac address of a phone. But you can use any Mac address and then click apply changes. Except you can't use the unicast address, right? So it, it saved it. We come back in here. We can see that it is... Now enabled, so now instead of the old IP address or the old MAC address that it was using, it is now passing this MAC address off on the WAN side. And your MAC address, if you didn't know, that's a burned in hardware address that doesn't typically change. Now you can see that we can clone it, right? So you can spoof it, but it is a MAC address is burned in. Uh, the first part of this address tells us who the manufacturer is, and then the manufacturer then assigns the rest of the address. So if you've got any questions about this, definitely let me know down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If your ISP is still requiring you to register the MAC address, let us know down in the comments. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link, and if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form that's on the front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.